start with Greg Hunter. Taz, when you guys have three high scores like you did today, not only yourself, but obviously Deuce and Derek gets 19. What does that mean for you guys offensively? Uh, that, well, that means that we're sharing the ball and everybody's getting shots. Uh, that means everybody's getting good shots. Uh, we have a point total like that amongst three different people. You know, that means we're sharing the ball in the offense. And that was one thing that we was really talking about is just make sure we're fluent within our offense and we, we get good shots instead of okay shots. You know, somebody has a better shot than you, swing it to them, you know, the ball might come back eventually. Justin Jackson. Hey, Taz. Uh, obviously, um, you know, about this game, you know, what they did the first time back in December. Uh, you know, this obviously helps you stay in the conference race. Uh, it's the first time you've experienced a win against Kansas. Uh, just kind of talk about, you know, all the emotions in the game, you know, as those final minutes and, and, and seconds are, are ticking off. What's going through your mind? Uh, well, that means with us, you know, a step closer to our goal, uh, we just wanted to close out the game as best as we can. Cause you know, as everybody knows, that's one of those things we had a, a problem with with other teams, but I feel like we closed the game out well this time. And uh, especially against a, a good team like Kansas, you know, there, there's no really slack on their, on their part, but we closed out the game well today. So that was the, the best feeling about this, but, uh, yeah, it was great to get a win against them. Uh, I was on three at first and I'm one and four and it, you know, it feels good to finally get a win. Over to Kevin Kinder. As it seemed like you and Deuce were able to get into the lane a lot, was pushing the ball inside a point of emphasis today? And how do you feel like your game has grown with that? I mean, obviously you're not the biggest guy, but you've been really good recently and as the season's progressed, getting the ball inside and shooting. Uh, well, uh, in junior college, I, I had a lot of post up opportunities in uh, during college, and and I, I just kind of figured out even if somebody's bigger than me or stronger than me or whatever, uh, as long as I get my balance, you know, if I can get my shot over, I think I have a pretty good chance of making it. So that's one thing I just try to do is just try to get the uh, defensive person off balance. And another thing I told myself, me and Deuce, we was just talking about we gotta get into the lane more, you know, put pressure on everybody else because that's what they do to us, you know. They get stick their head down and try to drive, get foul calls, get dump offs, and kick out threes. And that's one thing we was just talking about that we have to do from now on into the season. Greg. So, Taz, do you guys feel like your offense is, is finally sort of getting into the flow after having to change systems sort of midstream? Yeah, we're trying to figure out, uh, we're figuring out what type of team we're going to be and what type, uh, type of team we are. Uh, of course, we're a defensive first team. You know, it hasn't really seemed like that, but Bob Huggins program, we are a defensive minded team first. And now we are the four out one in has been working a lot for us. Motion, uh, trying to create mismatches for DC, you know, inside out offense. Uh, you know, once DC is playing well, we're going to play well. He's going to find us. He's a good passer off the post. So we just got to be ready to make shots and make plays. And I feel like we all did that today. We was kind of rotating on defense, and everybody was talking. The enthusiasm and energy was there from everyone today. So um, it was a great team win. Nesper. Taz, the, um, the run that they went on to start the second half, was it was that something that they did differently, or was that something that you – that I don't know, you guys were um, – not... no, it, it was a lack of focus by us and a lack of urgency. Uh, you know, we, that's one thing we were trying to – Tell ourselves again, uh, don't come out, you know, just keep the lead up. Don't let it go back down. You know, don't let them try to crawl back in slowly. Because, again, they're a good team. They can make shots and everything. You know, we just got to focus on the personnel and uh, focus on their plays and, you know, just try to figure out what we're doing and focus really defensively. Uh, but we got better progressively during the game. So uh, it was great that we figured it out really early, you know, after they made the run instead of, like, you know, deeper into the second half. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Taz, uh, two questions for me real quick. Uh, number one, uh, you know, the, the box score, the stats can lie sometimes in the sense that Kansas scores 44 points in the paint. You know, they hit 45% of their shots, but I kind of thought your guys' overall defensive play was the difference in the game. The stats may not say that. And um, question number two, uh, how weird will it be to look at the top 25 poll on Monday and not see Kansas in there? Uh, to answer your first question, I feel like we made every shot, well, not every shot, but the majority of the shots kind of difficult for them to make. So some of the shots we just, you know, live with as a basketball player, you know, once you're going against another talented basketball player, 
you know, good offense beats good defense any day. Uh, but I feel like we did a good job of closing off the driving lanes. And uh, they, I know they were trying to do the baseline drift pass, trying to find a Baji and uh, Braun, you know, their best shooters in the corners in the window. Uh, yeah, we try to stop that because that's what killed us again at Texas, Iowa State. Uh, we've been doing a good job at that. And to answer your second question, you know, it's, it's going to look a little different. But, you know, this whole year is different, you know, the Blue Bloods, you know, whoever, just the whole year is different. Uh, so maybe it's a good chance to have new scenery. Okay, Taz, thanks for joining us. No problem.